Hey, back out here at Cane Bay Plantation at the Four Seasons Resort. We're doing our final three walkthroughs of the model houses. The three big boys, the big warm chuckas. Huge houses starting at 2,400 plus square feet. If this is your first time to the channel, we would love for you to subscribe and click the little bell notification below. We talk about all things Charleston and Somerville. So do that, and that way you can be the first to know about the current market here in Charleston. My name is Mark, this is Jeff. We're with the Charleston Area Living Group, and we have a team of people that gets texts, calls, emails, all that kind of stuff from people just like you looking to make the move here to South Carolina. So click the link in the description below if you'd like to plan a Zoom meeting with us if you're not here locally, or you can go ahead and schedule an in-person meeting at our office in Nexton. Let's go check out these houses. All right, Jeff. Uh, I, I don't even know how to say this one again. <laughs> yeah. We have just, trouble with this. We're going to make it up. I, why can't they just name the house like Bill? Right. I can say that. The Bill model. The Bill model. Super simple. Lowe's. Lose. Louise. Lowes. Louis. 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 Right. Louis. Louis. Oh, oh, let's go. What did I do? Do it now. What did I do? Anyway, two bedroom, two and a half bath, two car garage, 2,469 square feet. Let's go check it out. All right, here going into the Lewis, whatever it is. So with this model, we have a side load garage. A lot of people love the side load garage. It gives you more space in the front of the house here for a beautiful porch. But off to the side, let's go inside and check this out. Remember, this is a two bedroom to start. You can also add a loft in this one. This one does not have a loft. So right inside the front door here, back to the right, you've got a half bathroom here for all your guests to use in a really massive laundry room. And then two more, actually they have one of these set up as a, uh, as kind of a, an office or a craft room, but this could be two more bedrooms here. So this could be very easily a three bedroom house with a Jack and Jill bathroom in the middle of it here. Lots of light in here, really big windows. I like what they did with the walls in here. What, what do they call that? Fancy trim. Fancy trim. Let's call it fancy it's trim. It's fancy trim. So this one has a formal dining room space. I'll tell you, over the years, a lot of people have gone away from a formal dining room space, but some people really like it. Like they've got their furniture they've had for a hundred years. They don't want to get rid of it. So this one's a great option. Nice big room for a formal dining room. It does go into the kitchen over there. And then this one has a cool little office space included here in the main floor area. So as you can see, big open space. Remember, you can put fireplaces like is in this model here in any of these homes. So if a fireplace is important to you, coming from the north, I love having a fireplace, so I always want to have one in my houses. All right, Mark, here's the question. You, you, you know these fancy names sometimes. What is this area called in between the kitchen and the dining room? That would be a butler's pantry. Butler's pantry. And then also a storage room. So that is, that is a like Costco Sam's Club style room. You could fit a whole lot of groceries in there. This is a there. huge pantry, walk-in pantry. So you have two pantries, yeah. a butler's pantry and a walk-in pantry. That's amazing. All right, back to the master bathroom, master bedroom. Although, well, we'll come back to the back porch. So yet again in this room, look at all the light with these wow. windows. They put the tray ceilings in this one. You could do that when you build these. And genius idea his and her closets. Or I feel like Sharon and Andrea would, this would be their closet. Mm -hmm. And then we would get like this piece of it. One little piece. Yeah. And then the ladies would have the rest of. Right. Why is that fair? Like it, it's not fair. It's just socially accepted. I don't <laughs> understand. Oh, this is cool. Little corner shower. Yeah. Corner shower. There's a bench seat over in the corner. Not so little though. Yeah. No. You bring friends in there. And his and hers, dual vanities here. And this one actually has a, a big bathtub also. You could build these with bigger showers, with or without a bathtub. A um, bunch of different options for what you can do with them. But let's squat back. I want you to see this back. These triple doors, Jeff, people seem to love them because it's like bringing your living space in from the outside. Yeah, look at that. Opens it all up. This is a beautiful lot. I want this lot. No doubt. Hey, maybe together we could afford this one. <laughs> could we really live together though? No. No. <laughs> no. So many of the, the lots are backed up to the lake system here. This is more of a canal section of it, yep. but it goes out to a 300 acre lake down there. 
and it's about a mile paddle if you're yeah, doing kayaking. Yeah. If, uh, so uh, they, somebody was telling me it takes them a, a good couple hours to go all the way around the system really? and come back to the beginning. Wow. So that's it. This is the Louise, Louis, 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 whatever it is. If you have any questions on this one, let us know. We're going to head to the next one. You like to give me the easy ones, don't you? How hard is going to this be? Well, watch them say Ravenna. No. Oh, it's not Ravenna? <laughs> no. Ravina. Ravina. Oh, Ravina. Nailed it. Yes. This is a good one, right? Yeah, this is cool. So this one is 2439, so really close to the last one in size. Okay. But it's got a different layout. I want you to see it. It's got a dedicated dining room space and a separate office space. Let's go inside and check it out. All right, we're at the Ravina side load garage. People love the side load garage. So there's a couple different options. This one has it as well. This is one of my favorites though, because you know, when you come here, you can design everything you want, but you may not be a designer. Here in the park here in Model Row, they have a designer that's like a real life designer and they help you out. Wait till you see how bright and beautiful this one is. A real life designer. A real so, life so designer. Not AI. Yeah, we no. We're not messing with this AI nonsense. No. A real designer. We do that later. Check out the floors especially. They are, you know, nice and bright and blue. And then over here to the left, they have a nice office area with the dual uh, doors that go out to the front porch. We got a half bath here on the left, and then your master bedroom is back here on the left. I love this one too, because it's got the door that goes out to the back porch as well. So we'll check that out in a few, but look how much light comes in this. And then the huge high ceilings with the tray ceiling in this one. Really good size master bathroom. You got a shower here, huge walk-in closet. And then over here is your water closet as well. Let's go back to the house. So Jeff was talking a little bit about this earlier. It's got the separate dining space over here, but it's still kind of included in all of this open space. So it's like a separated open floor plan. Is that even a thing? It is now. Know. Yes. Beautiful kitchen. You got your eating kitchen over here. And then look at all the light coming in. You have three different ways to get out to the porch, including the master. Now this house is a little different in its setup because when you come in the front door here, you've got the dining room on the on the right there, the office on the left, but then there's a hidden bedroom back this hallway. If we walk back this hallway and then there's another bathroom back here also, here it is. And it's got its own bathroom and a walk-in closet. This would be great for guests and whatnot. And then back here is your entryway from um, your garage and your laundry room, side load garage. Let's go check out the back. So this one has doors going on in two different, well, three. three. Yeah. Wow. So there's the bedroom. Yep, you can go out to the bedroom. Beautiful lot, again, on the lakes, and then into the eat-in dining room. Really brings that outside in when you open all these doors. If you want to see this one some more, or you have questions about it, let us know. See ya. All right, today we're at the San Sebastian. <laughs> or San Sebastian. Oh, okay. This, remember I said in a previous video, I was gonna tell you which house was my absolute favorite? Yeah. We're here. Uh, this is the one I wanna live in. This house is awesome. It's big. Yeah. It's like well over 3,000 3, square feet with the upstairs. Let's just go inside and check it out. All right, the San Sebastian loft, this one's super cool, but one of the options you can do with this one is you can add a third car side load garage. So you could have two vehicles in here, plus a golf cart, whatever other toys you have in the other garage. But look inside the front door of this one. This is a golf cart community? It is very much so. You can go everywhere in here in a golf cart. You can go shopping, go to restaurants. So here is one of the secondary bedrooms, it has a walk-in closet and it has its own full bathroom here. So ensuite bathroom for the guests. And then there's another half bathroom out here so that if you have other guests that don't aren't staying with you, uh, they can use this one and these French doors opening up into a great office space. That's a really big office. So across the hall is a landing zone and a really, really incredible laundry room. This is, and this laundry room is amazing. Just absolutely one of the nicest laundry rooms I've seen. Look at all the space, the counters, and you can put all this stuff in. But wait till you see my favorite part. Here it comes, the big open space. We'll go upstairs in a minute, but look at this. Look at the size of this island. Wow. This might be the biggest island I've ever seen. I think you're right. 
It's oh. got a pantry here, so actually walk-in pantry. You got an island this big, you're gonna feed a lot of people. Right? You need all the space. But look at all the shelving, all the cabinets. Uh, it's got a dining room area here that you could use, or you can just have this big, a big giant open space in this room. And then a sunroom back here in the corner, uh, which could also be, if you want to have this as your big open space, you could make this into a, into a dining room area. Fireplace in this one, and this wet bar, there's a couple different options with this. So when you build, you can put this wet bar in, or if you don't want the wet bar, this wall moves back, and this is just a bigger open space. But if you do put the wet bar in, you end up with a bonus room here. I, I can see like putting the dog kennel in there. No or, kids. You know, so, well, well, we're in 55 watts. Yeah, we have kids. kids with Grandkids can stay there, it'd be fun, like a fort. Master bedroom, again, look at all the light. Check out the ceilings in this one. So they have surround, or they have uh, speakers to the whole house in this one. Obviously things that you could do when you build from the ground up. And wait till you see this. Is it a shower with friends? It is a shower with many friends. Look at the size of this thing. This is unbelievable. Beautiful tile, dual vanities here, and another massively big walk-in closet. If you need more space than this, is you got too much stuff. You know what I like about this sink is that my wife can't kick me out because they're two separate areas. Yeah, and you're far enough away that she can't even like poke you. She'd right. have to actually take a step over to poke you in the yeah. room if she wanted to. And she might not do that, so I feel a little safer. All right, let's go out and check out upstairs now. All right, so we're upstairs now. Look, it, honestly, it's like another whole house up here. You could absolutely have somebody living up here. They got a little kitchen that's set up. You could put a microwave in there. Beautiful big living area space. Behind those doors over there, there's storage. And back here, you'll see another full bath and another bedroom, really big closets. So there it is. What do you think? San Sebastian Loft, the biggest house they have here. My favorite. Any questions on this? Give us a call. So Jeff, we have nine models. Yeah. It, and actually, finished. they have more models here that are available. They just don't have them as the model homes. Model. So they don't even just make nine, but they've got nine model homes, and we've now seen them all. Yeah, and right, right now they have six quick move-in, so quick move-in is still an option yep, for sure, right? Absolutely. If you want to build from the ground up, you can pick your everything. What the front of the house looks like, the different types of floors, uh, colors of cabinets, all that stuff. It's been fun doing three videos with you. Yeah, I Hopefully really we can do some it. more. We've, We've absolutely butchered the names yes. of all of these. You've got to add a little comedy. If you it. call us up, you just say, we want to know about model number four. We'll figure it out. <laughs> that would be great. Yeah. That would seven, help my simple mind. We're easily. so simple. Just, I want to know about number seven. We will do the math. And just remember, if you're coming here in nine days, 90 days, or nine months, we would love to help you. We get emails from people just like you, text messages, Facebook messages. Yeah, yeah. We, we love talking to you guys. So definitely shoot us a message or you can click the link below and schedule a Zoom call if you're not here locally. Yeah. Or if you're in town, we would love to meet with you face-to-face -face in our office and next and click that link below. See you later.